But he said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I can leave him. That's right. But what a fool I'd be. Oh, yes. See, when I heard him that Sunday morning at Faith Temple in Lubbock, Texas, nearly 60 years ago, I heard him say, come unto me, all ye that are weak and weary and heavy laden, I'm going to accept you. I'm going to receive you. Oh, I've had a lot of bumps and bruises and ups and downs. But what a fool I'd be if I turned my back on the light that shined in the darkness, on the peace that penetrated the confusion, on the one that said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about the word of God, the living word of God, the seed that can be sown in the heart and can grow to the place to where that we can act on our belief and that becomes faith. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. I will not forsake you. Well, what about it when I sin? Well, all I do is say, Father, you got a bratty kid on your hand. I, I don't run and get saved again. I got saved once. I got born again once. Amen? Yes. yes. That's what he said. Ye must be born again of water and of spirit, else you cannot even see the kingdom of God. Didn't say it or any. He said, see the kingdom of God. Yes. So I was born again by water, and I was born again by spirit. And so I thank God now I can see the kingdom of God. I can see a day when Jesus Christ is going to rule as King of kings and Lord of lords. There'll be no more war. There'll be no more prejudice. There'll be no more hate. There'll be no more murder. There'll be no more division. We will be one in him. I can see that because yes. he said it. Yes. I didn't dream it up. It wasn't some kind of a beef cabbage dream at night. It was what the word said. And I will pray my Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Now, I know that other comforter is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, the Father of Jesus Christ. And Jesus said, I and my Father will come and make our boat within you. <coughs> There's only one God, the God that created the heavens and the earth. And that God has come and made his residence in the church. Well, the book said, Amen. not in not the building, temple made without hands. No, you're not. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. <coughs> Hallelujah. I don't know why God chose me. I mean, everybody tells me, I don't know why your wife married you. I don't either, but she did. Better or worse. She thought the preacher said bitter or worse, but uh, it was better. Or worse, I will never leave you nor forsake you. If you love me, keep my commandments. Yes. He said, my commandments are not grievous. Not the Ten Commandments. You're not living under the old Mosaic law that was given on Mount Sinai. If you are like I preached two or three Sundays ago, when you go out and pick up sticks of wood on the Sabbath day, the rest of us are going to stone you. Yep. That's not really the kind of law I want to live under. I want to live under the law of Lord, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. And the second pillar of truth is love your neighbor as you love yourself. Yes. What a world we'd live in if people adhered to those two principles. Amen. Amen? Yes. Amen. Now listen to what that he said here before 12 o'clock gets here and we quit. 
I will never leave you comfortless. Who's not going to leave you comfortless? God. The God that created the heavens and the earth. All things were created by him and for him, and without him was not anything created that was made in him was life, and the life was the light of men. Hallelujah. Did you know something? That, that Christianity, I'm not talking about religion, all these vast different religious groups. Uh, I'm talking about Christianity, the word of Christ, the teaching uh, of what was happening in Antioch when they were first called Christian. The term Christian does not mean Christ-like. The term Christian means follower of Christ. One day when I see him, I am going to be like him. Until that day, I am struggling. But he's with me in my struggle. He's with me in my weakness. He's with me in all of my frailty. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come back unto you that where I am there you may be also. I might say, well, wait, way off up in heaven somewhere. I don't know about that, but I do know that he's here and in here. Why? Because that's what he promised. Matthew, the 8th chapter and the 23rd verse. And Jesus tells his followers to get in the boat. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. My wife and I, at, when we were down at South Pole, we got out in this little inflatable landing craft with seven other <laughs> Or actually six other, two of us. And going over that icy water, that if you fell out of that little boat, you had less than two minutes for them to drag you out of those icy waters or hypothermia would set in and you dead. Their lungs twist, everything went wrong. In that little boat. Hey Amen. Did you know something? We were all one in that little boat. Whatever happened to that little boat was going to happen to me. Whatever happened in that little boat was going to affect my life. I couldn't separate myself from the other people in that boat. Didn't make a difference who they were, what religion they were. I couldn't separate myself from them. I was part of those that were in the boat. I don't know, that's the problem in America today. We're not understanding what we claim to believe in, one nation under God. Yes. We're in that one nation, that's for sure. Whatever happened to this nation happened to all of us. Whatever happens to the least one among us happens. Or oh, it doesn't affect me. Oh, it doesn't? That's right. They took 63%. Plus all the sales taxes and everything of what I made last year, 63% taxes. Mm -hmm. They talk about the, the Netherlands and Denmark and uh, the, the, the uh, uh, country there, and I've been all over those countries, and the maximum they take out of your pocket is, is 52% that the government, Denmark takes it to. Got all this previous stuff. Whatever happens, the least one among us happens to all of us. But That's right. So if we're out there on that, uh, on that uh, 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 ocean and it uh, began to bolster up and whenever we started back, we ran into a real storm. I mean, the, the, the waves got that boat just a uh, wave nearly as high as the church ceiling. And we were trying to make it back to the ship, the big ship. The eight of us were wanting to get back to the hundred and seven passengers that were on that Russian ice breaker, and over a hundred in the crew. And as our boatmen began to try to bring us over and ride those waves, uh, we had very, or he had very little control uh, over that rubber inflated raft out there on that. Uh, and and uh, whenever we rode those waves, he got us to place to where that each wave was bringing us a little closer to the ship. Mm 